Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. In today's episode, we're going to continue learning about, and actually, kind of actually start learning about, camera manipulation. So, let's go to the storage UI and go to the local script we have in there. Alright, now, the what we're going to do, first thing, is make a while loop while true do wait all right and in this while loop now here's the thing about cameras players and cameras is the player can always move their camera just by right clicking and moving their mouse or using their arrow keys or all kinds of other things that's why we have to use have to have to have to have to have to use a while loop as far as I know now there are games like strobe alright that don't actually seem to use a while loop because it's not glitchy and I'll show you guys what I mean by glitchy in a second but they're the only people so far that I know of that have been able to figure out a better way to do this and sadly they have not shared that knowledge as far as I know I've tried a lot of other things to duplicate that, but I have not been successful. So, today, we're going to just simply go with two lines, really. First line is cam that camera type equals zero. Alright, now... Let's go to the workspace, and I know I type type is fixed. I'll explain that. Why did Roblox do this again? Hold on. It seems that Roblox just does not like to save my font size. Ugh. All right, there. Now you guys can hopefully read it better. Anyway, let's go to the Explorer. All right, so we're in workspace. Find instance. Now go down to properties instance is actually a camera alright there's a bunch 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 of different stuff there's field of view which is at 70 degrees name is instance camera workspace this stuff alright I field of view is a bit different for us but other than that class name name and parent are all pretty basic right good next is archivable alright still kind of basic next is camera subject camera subject I haven't really explained yet uh, camera type is what we're working on though camera type has several different things as attach custom fixed follow scriptable track watch now actually I'm going to go pull up a uh, link or a page on wiki.roblox.com that explains all of these different camera types perfectly. One second. All right, so I pulled it up, and here we are. We've got fixed, which is zero. All right, this number on the side is the like quick way of changing the camera type. Zero is fixed. That's why. When I typed cam dot camera type equals zero, the type is fixed. All right. So fixed is zero. Attach is one. Watch is two. Track is three. Follow is four. Custom is five. Scriptable is six. Now I'm going to have the link to this page in the description below. Okay. You should totally check it out. Good. Alright, but the thing I'm actually wanting to show you guys is this part, the description. Alright, so with fixed, the camera does not watch, the camera does not follow, or rotate with the subject. And this is going to be really confusing if you don't know the subject. Let's just explain the subject as like, maybe you're watching some movie and the protagonist is moving and running and it's an action-packed scene and the camera is sticking like glue to that protagonist alright then the protagonist is the subject 
Now in Roblox, only one brick can be the subject, and it's typically either the torso or the head. Depending upon how you're scripting it, um, but th it, just know that's the subject, all right? So in Fix, the camera doesn't care about the subject. In Attach, the camera follows the subject and is forced behind it, all right? This is what I believe is done when you normally play a Roblox game. It normally is stuck behind you, right? Yeah, I'm, I think that's what they are usually. Camera watches but does not follow or rotate with subject. All right, so it's always it, it, I, 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 to be honest. Without following or rotating with the subject, it's kind of hard to explain what watch means. So experiment with that, I guess. Um, anyway. Track is camera watches and follows, but does not rotate with subject. Follow is camera watches, follows, and rotates with subject. Custom is customized configuration, behavior subject to change. Custom is okay, but it's... It, custom is not really scripting it yourself the whole time. It's a bit more simple, but also kind of difficult than that. Uh, I, I can't explain it to be honest. Scriptable allows for easy camera control or easy control of the camera from scripts. That is so false unless I don't understand what it means. If it means that you can control the camera from actual scripts and not local scripts, okay. I've never tried that. But if it means from local scripts, no. I have I have never been successful using scriptable is so hard to use. I just almost always use fixed when I'm doing camera manipulation. And I'm pretty sure everybody else on Roblox does too. Alright, so now that we know what the camera type is, fixed means it's not going to do anything but what we directly tell it to do. Alright, we're going to do cam dot coordinate frame remember that's just what C frame stands for equals C frame dot new and we'll just go with zero zero actually zero ten zero all right just like that and we'll make and we actually won't touch the uh, focus now we will press F6 because I'm pretty sure this will still work in play solo mode. I don't think we ever had a player um, added event anywhere. Alright, yes. So there's my player. At first it started looking at him. That's because the our script had to load, but the Roblox scripts load first. Alright. So our player is walking. And you guys see this field of view starts out right down here. You can actually see each stud kind of individually, but then as it grow, it gets a larger field of view. You can't. All right, that's what field of view is. All right, so we're going to keep moving our player over here. As you guys can see, it's when you manipulate the camera movement gets a little bit buggy little little bit buggy alright that's it's annoying yes but it's kind of livable I guess some of the time uh, but it, it is definitely buggy so that's why I only do this for cutscenes typically in a game it's really hard to manipulate the camera for the entire game unless you are very, very, very intelligent about what you're doing. Um, so you can try that. I, please do. Try to figure out ways you could do that. But I'm, I'm not going to teach how to do that in this tutorial series. I, at least I don't think so. But we can still pull out our light and all of that. All right. So now that I've shown you guys that, Know that the coordinate frame can be moved anywhere. Let's go to 200. Alright. We're just going to keep playing around with this. 
we'll we'll change it one more time probably, and that'll be it. But we're just working with the coordinate frame today. The coordinate frame is where the camera is. All right, so we're going to go to players, player one, player GUI, local script, change it to 200, 200, 10 in the middle. But I'm not worried about the Y right now. Disable and re-enable it. There we go. Now we're super far away, right? But we're still looking at where the spawn is. That's because we haven't changed the camera's focus. We're going to work on that next tutorial. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike. Dislike, sadly. But you guys should do that. Button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.